How sensitive is this radio? This is not the sort of test where you want the microphone connected. It's such a pity we can't disconnect the microphone. Because uh, if we were to touch the microphone, we'd kill the, the signal generator. Um, right, the signal generator is now set for the frequency that the radio is on. And it's set for minus 126 dBm. So uh, we'll step it up and find out the point at which the squelch opens. It opens at 116 dB and closes at 121. So that's 5 dB of hysteresis. Yep. Okay. So now, how sensitive is it? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to have to defeat the squelch. And the point we're listening for, this is just a plain carrier, the point we're listening for is when we start to get the rough noise pops. So let's, op let's um, open the squelch a bit. So there we are, smooth noise signal. Now, can I do this? take the radio out of the way, defeat the squelch and step this down right there it is can you hear those rough noise pops turn the volume down a bit perhaps I usually reckon on about 10 pops per second and that puts the sensitivity around about minus 122 dBm for 12 dB cyanide, roughly, which is not too bad. It's not the best that can be achieved but it's certainly not the worst. Yeah, some radios will manage 126 dB um, on 70 sems and uh, many repeaters are only 117 dBm so uh, this isn't too bad It's certainly not deaf by any means I should try and summarise this um, It's got a reasonably large and uncluttered display which you can read in the daylight and you can read in the dark um, it's got illuminated buttons so you can see those in the dark but the microphone is not illuminated anyway so you don't know which is the up and down button in the dark you're feeling around for them the rig can be programmed from the front panel without using a computer. Uh, it takes around 10 milliamps on standby, about 190 milliamps um, when it's switched on with the squelch uh, closed and about 220 milliamps with the audio running. And on high power transmit it takes about two and a half amps so it's not too bad on a cigarette lighter. It uh, switches on to the last channel that you used. Um, which I suppose is useful. But there is nothing to tell you what, what channel you're on apart from the vision. There's no change in the tone. It would be nice if it went, you know, a lower pitch tone when it reached channel zero or something like that, channel one. Um, the audio is very clear both ways. There's plenty of top response on the transmission, no sign of boxiness. 
the microphone needs close talking. Um, whether it's noise cancelling or not, I don't know, but it, it doesn't seem to pick up very well from a distance. You need to talk close to it, but across it. The sensitivity is acceptable. It's about minus 122 dBm for 12 dB cyanide, approximately. And the uh, there's 5 dB of squelch hysteresis. Um, so there's none of this squelch chattering. 5 dB is not a bad figure, actually. It's, uh, it's quite good. Um, okay, in future videos... I will uh, talk about programming the rig with a computer. There's a, there's a speaker socket around the back here somewhere. There. And you apparently you program it through the speaker socket. Which is weird. But we'll try that out. And I want to uh, install it in a vehicle and do a road test. But at the moment it's freezing cold and we're in the middle of a lockdown, so I think that will have to wait. Thanks for watching.